Uh, Amanda told us you weren't coming as a prank. Do you find that funny? <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Amanda Harrington. <laughs> Never heard of her. Okay. <laughs> Ser serious question uh, about your round today. Um, does it feel like, you know, with the wind, much, obviously much different, but you're kind of sort of fighting the course to a draw today? Uh, can you say that again? I'm sorry. Um, just talk about your round. How about okay, that? I'll talk about it. Okay, <laughs> well said. Uh, my round was really good. Um, I hit a lot of solid shots. Some panned out, some did not. Mm -hmm. I think when you have winds and gusts of this nature, that's, uh, that's going to happen. I mean, there's a couple times, I think of three shots right off the top of my head where my caddy said great shot. Um, and then two times where my – Playing partner said great shot, and you know I'm trying to make a par. Um, that's hard, but it's it's the nature of the beast right now. I mean, I was telling Fred and over there. I mean, the only commonality between yesterday and today is that we played 18 holes. Uh, it was it was a vastly different, but that's a cool thing too. It's a cool thing about golf, and certainly Jack, you, these conditions. No, you're good. What, what'd you hit into 18, and what was your number? I hit nine iron. 18? Yeah, I should hit it. Oh, wait, sorry, that was my 18th you're, hole. You're, uh, you're not, you're sorry, not. my ninth hole. I hit, um, I hit my four hybrid. I had, I didn't hit a very, I towed it, but I hit it straight. I had, oh gosh, what did I have? Two two twenty four cover, two two twenty two front, two twenty something like that. And we figured, honestly, it was one of those shots where I was like, okay, I'm going to stay a little left of the trap, the right trap. And if it goes over the green, because it's so straight downwind, if it goes over the green, it's fine. I'm putting, chipping back into the wind. But it landed right into the tier. I mean, my divot was wet and huge. And I, I, I'm surprised it stayed on the green. How long was the putt? So, it was the longest two-and-a-half footer I've ever had really? with that wind. I, mean, I had to back off once. Um, Again, it's just because the wind's going one way, and the, if there was any if there was any break, the break was going opposite of the wind, so that that made it somewhat you, difficult. Obviously, you got a, a lot of a lot of W's, a couple of majors, uh, of, of a non-major tournament. How close is this to the one you really want to win before you? It, 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 this this tournament means a, a lot. I mean, it. Um, I, you know, there's there's probably two or three tournaments outside of the, the four big ones that I, I feel are just uh, – have, have just a little bit more weight than the others, you know. Um, certainly John Deere. I would probably throw Colonial in there, the Charles Schwab. Oh, the players is good too. Man, players is awesome. And and this one's right there. I mean, it, it is. And certainly it, it has to do with uh, um, being at home and, and rep, you know, representing Sea Island and St. Simons, playing in front of friends and family. But it also – Probably more has to do with the fact that the three letters on my chest, the RSM, is, is are very special to me. I mean, I'm not just – sounds cliche, but it's it's the opposite of that. I mean, it's a unique situation. Um, the individuals behind uh, behind that company are just tremendous individuals, and I'm very, very fortunate to be with them. I mean, I, I, I adore them. I, I love what they do for me on the course, but they certainly support me more off the golf course, which is – I don't know if that's unique, but I, I, I think it's probably somewhat rare. So, um, they started this tournament. This is their own little baby. They, they've created the identity here, and I'm happy to be a small part of it. And then you couple that with Davis, <laughs> it's pretty dang good. How do you resist the randomness of golf? Hmm. That there's never been a Sea Island Resident that's won. Do you have any kind of explanation why? Well, it's hard. It's hard to win. Uh. No, I guess I don't really know where where I could dig deep and find one there. I mean, maybe there's a little bit of added pressure because of who you're playing in front of and that kind of thing. I've, I think I'm seasoned enough to understand that they don't care if I shoot 85 or 65. Um, <laughs> I know they don't because I've done both. Um, <laughs> so I just kind of go out there and try to have fun. And I, I know that the support is um, unconditional. And so uh, maybe, maybe that's part of it. I think the other – well, I think it's going to happen. I mean, shoot, I feel like we're – you know, every year if we lose one, we get two more guys. And there's a bunch of mini-tour guys here that will probably be on tour at some point. So I think the odds are in our favor at some point, you know. I'd love to see our host. Gosh, he almost had that one year, you know. Um, 
No, I guess I kind of came, knocked on the door there for a little bit. Was it two years ago or last year? I can't remember. But, yeah, I know it's hard. I mean, it's, it's hard. I mean, I think it's just, you know, hard to play in front of family and friends sometimes. What was your best par out there today? Anything that stood out? Best par. Let me think about that one. Holy cow, that's a hard question. Um, two, three, four. Well, I mean, I, I guess I'd probably have to say the longest par putt I made. I'm trying to make a birdie on eight, which is the par five. I hit a great drive. I'm in between clubs. I hit the longer club to kind of take the water out. He, my caddy and I are both like, if it goes long, it's barely going to go long. It's an easy sand shot. And I, I, I couldn't keep the sand shot on the green. Um, and I, I, I putted it basically from the rough, and I had six feet for par. And I made I, that was probably the best putt I hit all day. Because I just three putted from. I hit a great shot on seven to. Seventeen, eighteen feet, and three putted. I mean, I, I hit it six feet, seven feet past the hole. It was awful. That that was my only true brain fart today. Um, and didn't hit a great second putt. So that that putt there was, that was <laughs> the best putt I made for par was on a par five. It stinks. What's the best part of going home versus having to go to a hotel tonight? Uh, well, for me right now in my season of life, it's the fact that my kids are going to be there because right now they don't travel with me. Um, there's too much going on at home. And obviously, school is a commitment and then extracurriculars too. So for me, I get to go – I mean, certainly sleep in my own bed, but I get to go be with my family and my kids. Uh, that's that's not normal. My sister's flying in today with my brother-in-law and niece and nephew, which is pretty awesome through Thanksgiving. That's kind of cool, too. So, uh, there's a lot of positives. Man, I'm home cooking. She's making spaghetti tonight. <laughs> there's a good chance I'm going to be having a lot of carbs, you know, for tomorrow. So, pretty excited about that. There's a long, there's a long list. I want to know what the best part is. Uh, some of the best golf you've played over the last year is here twice. Um, is yeah. it too simple to chalk that all up to sort of form course knowledge, or is there something else there too? Uh, I think this is certainly course knowledge is a part of it. I, I've, um, it's funny, Dr. Mo, who's my sports psychologist um, and dearest of friends, works here. Uh, we committed to – I had three weeks off, and I committed to playing Cancun and Houston before this. And uh, – I didn't see him after my round yesterday, but the first comment he made when I saw him this morning was, this is why you played the last two. And I'm like, you're 100% correct. I figured some things out in my golf game. I would have liked to have figured those out probably in August. Um, I did some really good work with uh, PXG and the drivers that they've now given me. Um, I, it, if I'm going to get really specific, it's it has everything to do with the driver. I have a driver that matches my iron swing. And I haven't had that in a while, and that's my own stubbornness to some degree. Um, but they, uh, Joel Kreibel and everybody there, um, they've done a great job with getting me the right thing in my hands and just trusting it. And I saw some things last – Houston's not a great golf course for me. I drove it so good on the weekend and got nothing out of it. So um, it just it's just kind of overlapped into this week. I played, a, I played the Monday Pro-Am for Davis and BMW and um, that's when I that's when I'm like okay that's that's those are the feelings right there and my coach was with me and he's like oh my gosh where was this you know so uh, it's just been patience it's been time it's been a grind but um, I had some nice momentum before I got COVID too that that set me back I think I missed three events because of that when was that I got it Sunday of John Deere so I couldn't go to the open yeah, I talked to Colin, so he's lucky. You know what? Because I wasn't there. <laughs> he's lucky, right? I mean, anyway, I'm just living pure now. So, anybody else? Yeah, last, uh, quick, yeah. Or, I don't know if it's last, but one quick one. Um, Everybody, every year we talk about the Sea Island curse because we find things to talk about. But do people, Sea Island players, you guys, St. Simon's Island, actually care? I mean, is this something you talk about? The Sea Island what, I'm sorry? Curse. Oh, I've, I've not heard there's a curse. Well, no, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a made-up fake thing after 10 years of it. But yeah. do, do you all ever talk about, hey, it's weird and one of us should get it? I've never heard any of my peers that live here mention that. 
Yeah. I'm not suggesting they haven't with the others, but yeah. I'll tell that. you what's more rare is for all of us to be together because <laughs> we've all got crazy schedules. Yeah. So and and different seasons of life too, right? Obviously, Davis, myself, Jonathan, we're probably the elder statesmen, elder statesmen of the island. Yeah. Kooch just moved, so he's kind of still a resident, but he doesn't have a home here. Um, but I, I, I no, I, I don't know. I've not heard that, nor do I. Yeah, hopefully it's broken someday. I don't. I don't know. Well, I haven't seen a leaderboard today, but that's irrelevant. So, how much do you play these two courses during the year? I mean, not a ton. Um, I mean, they're 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 fairly busy, and that's a great thing because Sea Island uh, promotes it and people pursue it. You know, I mean, I would say that as far as the East Coast goes, um, I don't think you can find a better golf destination. I, 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 it sounds like I'm supposed to say that, but I, I, give me one, and I, I don't know what it would be. I mean, Pinehurst I know has great golf and more golf. But man, we've got we've got four championship golf courses, and then a fifth one that's really good too. So, on a small little island like this, you know, uh, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty unique and uh, pretty awesome. And then you got the five star amenities to go along with it. So, it's um, the secrets kind of getting out. You know, it's a hard place to get to, which we like, but uh, it also it's. The hotels, the lodge, and the cloister, are, it's, they're booked up a lot now. So the secret's certainly out. All right. Appreciate it.